guys, welcome back to Belly Acres Kitchen. Tonight we are going to be making some uh, pulled pork in the um, multi cooker. Um, I was trying to decide what we were going to do uh, tonight, and I was like, you know what? I have a multi cooker and instant pot now. So uh, we're going to do that, and then we're going to dress up some uh, canned baked beans. We'll just dress those up, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a just a simple meal it's just for it's just for the three of us here at home uh, we're expecting storms again tonight it's um you know uh spring in oklahoma you know it's gonna be storms after storms for a little while which i'm not complaining we can use the rain um i'm gonna go ahead and chop up a whole onion, usually I only use half of an onion in anything that I'm cooking. This I'm going to use for the uh, baked beans that I'm dressing up. And then this, I am going to just wedge it out. Just kind of cut it like that. And I'm going to put this right in the Instant Pot with the, um, with the pork. Now, technically, I could put the whole uh, roast in the in the um, instant pot, and it would cook. But I have found that if I chop it up into little cubes, it does cook a little bit faster, and it makes it easier to pull. Um, if you are in an area that has a Homeland store. And I don't know if this is nationwide. I don't know if Homeland is nationwide. It may just be Oklahoma. But they are having a huge meat sale right now. And um, their pork shoulder, the shoulder roast, pork shoulder blade roast is $1.54 a pound right now. So I got these two big roasts for $20.56. All right. So if you do have a Homeland close, um, to you go check out their meat sale this week because it is amazing we did we were able to buy a lot of different meats i am going to cut this fat off because we don't need quite that much don't you worry none though we are going to use that fat i'm really thinking about making a pot of beans maybe tomorrow or the next day and that fat is going to complement it well. I can also cut this up and make chicharrones, um, which are really good with flour tortillas, but you guys, Rusty and I are trying to be a little healthier, so I've tr been trying not to make things like tortillas lately. Um, just trying to kind of cut out a little bit of the carbs, not a whole lot, just, you know, just trying to be a little more mindful. Uh, all right, so. Now I've got this. I'm going to set this aside because, like I said, I will be using it. I may even just fry it up into chicharrones and put it like in the freezer or something so we have it for later. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this. I usually do try to rinse the meat off. All right, so now I'm just going to chop up this roast. Very, not very small, but I am going to cut it up into chunks just because it does tend to be, uh, it, one, it cooks faster and two, it does pull better when you have pulled pork. Um, I usually cut it up like this when I'm making uh, tamales too, um, just because, well, then I'm usually boiling it, but you can make it in an instant pot. Now I am using my new Pampered Chef multi-cooker, which I absolutely love. So, um, I am going to, like every time I make something in it, 
it's brand new like ooh, how good is it gonna do this and I know I had I had an instant pot before but it was very very small because I did not know if that's what I wanted for sure you guys we went to a swap today like a it's called poultry swap it's the Afton Oklahoma poultry swap but you guys they it's like this huge flea market with animals they sell everything there I mean it's just a huge farm swap and uh, we took baby chicks we took 38 barnyard mix baby chicks to the sale and we took some tomato starts uh, we didn't sell any starts there were a lot of people with starts there though we didn't have ours priced very high but ours weren't quite as big and luxurious as some of the others were so um, all we can do is keep growing them and keep trying but um, but uh, we did sell 17 baby chicks that's so exciting uh, I'm gonna need a let's see my knife is pretty sharp but it's not wanting to take this off of this bone but that's okay I can throw the bone in there and then pick it off after it's cooked but we sold 17 baby chicks and then on the way out Rusty said let's um let's stop and see what else is in there you know what else is here and um, I was like okay well we found some cinnamon queens so we went ahead and bought cinnamon queens as well I'm not going to cut them quite as small as I was cutting them before. I'm just going to kind of strip them here. This also helps if you have a smaller crock pot or a smaller instant pot where you can get them, um, where you can get them, get it to fit, you know. I'm just hoping this roast fits. It's a six quart, so it should. Now, before I put this all in there, I am going to season the meat really well so uh i'm not just going to throw it in the instant pot and season the top i'm going to season the meat really well need to check on this pan i have a pan here in the oven that i was drying but i'm going to use this um cast iron skillet to make my beans in so I'm gonna use that here in just a second so I've got some garlic quite a bit because we do like a lot of garlic I've got some orange pepper sauce uh, orange pepper sauce orange pepper and you guys I've been using this quite a bit in different things since um, since we found it and I also have some lemon pepper I do like the orange pepper and lemon pepper mixed together especially in a barbecue um, type meat it's just so good adding that extra citrusy flavor and then this is called pork rub this is the extra fancy i like this brand a lot of times you can find this in the mexican aisle at walmart or sometimes there's just a whole entire wing cap uh, dedicated to um, extra fancy and it's kind of all of the mexican uh, type um, uh, seasonings all right, and I've got some of this um, brown sugar. This is, you know, homemade brown sugar. I like to make my own brown sugar because I do like to um, put as much molasses as I want in it. But when you do make your own brown sugar, sometimes you do get that, um, that the malt, you will find that the molasses will kind of sink to the bottom. So it doesn't hurt to kind of stir that up every now and then just kind of get it and you can also take it out and put it back through a mixer just to make sure you get it good and stirred again um, the other good thing about it is I've never had it harden um, maybe I just use it too much but it's never hardened I've never had a problem with that all right so I'm going to mix all of these seasonings together and because this is going to be pressure cooked, I'm not going to like put a binding or anything on it. It's not going in the oven or going in a smoker. It's just going to be 
cook together. And we found this, we actually found this at Doll, uh, Dollar General, but it's Cattleman's Barbecue Sauce. It's a Carolina Tangy Gold. So we're really kind of excited about that. We have no idea what it tastes like, but we want to try it for sure. And really, we're just going to rub this in. Ooh, we're just going to make every part of this covered. That pork rub, it's kind of got a, a barbecue flavor as well. Um, so, kind of a smoky flavor. But we will be adding some... Worcestershire sister sauce, <laughs> Worcestershire, and some, uh, probably some, um, little bit of vinegar in this, just so then that way everything infuses really well while it's in the pressure cooker. But here you go, all of these are covered all the way around. I'm going to do the same thing here with these bigger pieces. I do have to say I do like this haircut because I don't have to worry about any hair falling in the food. I also don't have to worry about pulling it back. So, um, yeah, kind of digging it. Kind of trying to decide if I'm going to shave it again or let it grow out. <laughs> now, if I told you I didn't miss my long hair, I would be lying because I do. But I do kind of like the convenience of the short hair. I wanted to bring you guys over to the Instant Pot. And as you can see, I already put my half of an onion um, quartered not really quartered, but I'm not going to even start that yet. I'm going to dump my, put my meat in here. Okay. All right, you guys. So I am going to put some Worcestershire, Worcestershire sister. I just want that smoke. And then, all right, and then this is half of a cup of uh, apple cider vinegar and half a cup of water. And that should be plenty. I just almost forgot to put that bone in there. I do want to put that bone in there so that I can uh, just pick all that meat off. So, all right, we'll start it. And then we will go start the... Um, beans. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this. Holy Hannah. So all of that fat that was on that roast has created this whole just like soup in here. I'm going to take that bone out that I had put in there. That should just, oh yeah, you guys. Like that meat is just literally just look falling off the bone. So exactly what I wanted. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to drain this because it does have a lot of fat and a lot of um, a lot of liquid in it. Holy Hannah, you guys. Looks and smells amazing. Ooh, look at all that juice. That is beautiful. All right. Why don't you guys come in here so y'all can look a little closer? All right. So look at this. You guys see this? Look, look. Just falls apart. I want to taste it before I put the stuff, the sauce on it. So I am going to, you know, of course, if I taste it, well, then my uh, cohorts in the living room are going to want to taste it, too. 
but just falling apart. Okay. That's pretty good. It's got a sweetness to it, which I think the tangy is going to offset that. I didn't add salt to this, you guys. Just the seasonings and the, the um, vinegar and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Desi, this is before the sauce. I got to put the sauce in it, yep. All right, so I've got this Cattleman's um, Tangy Gold. I did taste this. I think it tastes amazing. I've not let Rusty taste it yet, so um, I may take this over so he can taste it. But It's got almost like a honey mustard flavor to it. It's, it's really good. I'm going to let Rusty taste this. All right, so here we go. I got these little claws out. I don't even know that I really need these. Look at this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start dumping this in. I'm really excited to try this new sauce. Look at that, just one claw and it is just beautiful. I don't think I'm going to put the whole thing in it because it has cooked down a lot. All right. I definitely don't want just pate, right? So I'm not going to I'm not going to do this too awful much. And I'm really kind of just tossing it. So I'm just kind of flicking this or, you know, pulling it basically like I am just pulling it away from the sides and not shredding it because it is shredding so easy that um, if you if you overdo it, you kind of get the stringy pate texture. And uh, I, I don't want to do that. This is perfect. All right. I want to show you guys this. Look. That is just beautiful. It is so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and taste it. Make sure I don't need salt or anything else. It did just what I was hoping it would do. That sweetness from the um, brown sugar that uh, I put in there with the smokiness of the, the spices and then adding this tangy sauce. Perfect. So good. So good. Now the bone, I just threw it in there so that I would be able to get the pieces of meat off of it. And they came off super easy. So I'm going to, oh, so I'm going to just kind of shred that up and put that in there. Let it get, gather some of that sauce. It's going to be so good on a hamburger bun. And then with those baked beans, you guys, try this out. Shoulder roast with onion. And then put whatever sauce, whatever spices you want on it. It don't have to be what I put on it. Um, I do like to add the citrus. So like the orange pepper and the lemon pepper if I have a good pork rub. And then I just add in... Um, you know, like for this, I knew I was going to be coming in with the tangy, so I wanted to add some sweet to it and putting that brown sugar in it. Perfect. So I'm going to plate up and then we'll see how Rusty likes. For Rusty, like pile it on, guys. Pile it on. Uh, do you want onions and pickles? Yes. Do you want the toma tomatoes on the side? Yes. So we were at... Um, we were at that market today and um, I, I bought some uh, tomatoes from one of the vendors. So I, I like to have just tomatoes on the side. Look at this, guys. 
Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yes, perfect. And then I'm going to put some tomatoes here. They are juicy tomatoes. Yes. Nice, beautiful, beautiful um, slicers. And a good helping of uh, good helping of baked beans with onions and bacon. All right, so here we go. Rusty's our taste tester. And I'll plate mine and Desi's up while he's giving it a whirl. I didn't put all the sauce in it. So does it need more? Do you, you don't want onions, pickles? Do you want tomatoes on your? Yes, tomatoes, please. On, on the uh, sandwich? That's awesome. Yes, okay. Is it? Did it come out really good? Yes, that came out amazing. Yay! Yes, ma'am. Do I do a three or four of these, right? What, what size is that? One, three. A third? You only do three of those. Mm. That's really good, baby. Yeah? I like that sauce. I, I tasted it. I really liked it. Do you want salt and pepper, Desi? Um, yes, please. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I've done pulled pork before. I don't remember if it was on this channel or on the playlist. It's called In the Kitchen at Robertson's Valley Acres. But um, I have done a pulled pork before. Uh, this is just we found that sauce and it was like honestly I couldn't decide if I wanted to come home and make chile verde or um, pulled pork and we saw that sauce at Dollar General of all places and um, yeah we were excited so we wanted to try it out yes it's very good yes well I'm gonna continue to plate us up uh, I got Desi plated up and um, y'all my mouth is watering it smells so good. Um, all right, you guys. Well, I hope you like our videos. If you do, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yep, share with your friends. Leave us some comments, you guys. Let Rachel know what you think of this pulled pork. And if you guys have tried this sauce before, let us know that too. But yeah. most of all, don't forget to smash that bell and get notified of the next new video when it comes out. Yep, until next time, you guys. God bless. See ya.